Hi everyone, in yesterday's video I talked about the system that Dr. Nuaz, my orthodontist at the Kelp Center, set up to help correct the crossbite on my left side. Of course, I had a, to a large degree, asymmetric MSE expansion, which means I got seven millimeters of expansion on the left and only three on the right. And so the crossbite on the left, which means the difference between my upper and lower left teeth, is much worse on the left and on the right. And I showed you the system of buttons on the teeth and elastics that Dr. Nuaz set up to help correct this crossbite. Basically, the elastics are connecting from the outside of the upper left teeth to the inside of the lower left teeth to lingually torque the upper left teeth and simultaneously buccally torque, which means torque toward the cheeks, the lower left teeth, and I'll show you what that looks like here. So the elastic is going from the buccal side, the cheek side of the upper right of the upper left teeth, to the lingual side of the lower left teeth. And this is lingually torquing my upper left teeth, which means it's torquing them in toward the tongue. And it's buccally torquing the lower left teeth, which means it's torquing them toward the cheek. And this is one of the steps being taken to correct the crossbite on that side. But what I neglected to tell you in yesterday's video, and it almost makes yesterday's video inaccurate, this is such an important detail, is that on the lower teeth, I also have Invisalign trays that I'm swapping out every 10 to 14 days. And those Invisalign trays are programmed to expand the lower left quadrant only. So that Invisalign expansion is contributing to the correction of the crossbite on, on my left side. Of course, Invisalign can be programmed however you want it to be programmed. You can, it's, you know, it's basically a, you know, a 3D printing software and then the 3D printer prints whatever you want to create. Okay, so if you want the Invisalign to expand the lower left quadrant, but not the lower right quadrant, it can do that. And so my Invisalign right now is programmed to expand the lower left quadrant and I'm on tray 10. And so I've already been expanding the lower left quadrant and I will continue to do so. Now, the next point I wanna make about this is that there's a limit as to how much that lower left quadrant can be expanded using the Invisalign. And that limit is my alveolar bone on that lower left side. There's only so much bone there. So eventually, if the elastics and the gentle, slow, cautious Invisalign expansion, if that's not gonna be enough to correct the crossbite, I will do some SFOT and Wilkodontics, excuse me, on that lower left quadrant, just to add some bone and to do some corticotomies to help facilitate the expansion of that lower left quadrant with the Invisalign tray. So the SFOT combined with the Invisalign is gonna really allow that lower left quadrant to expand however far we need to go to correct the crossbite on that side. But I can't do the SFOT until I heal from the tunnel graft that I did a few weeks ago. So that's gonna be another, let's say two months. So for the next two months where, um, you know, we're running these elastics that I showed you and a gentle Invisalign expansion, swapping out the trays every 10 to 14 days, and we're gonna see how far that gets us, okay? And that's probably gonna get us a good chunk of the way there, but there's probably gonna be a need for a little bit of Wilkodontics SFOT later on. So, all right, that's it for now. That's an important update. And I hope you now understand better what's going on with the expansion of my mandible. And I'm gonna do a follow-up to this video right now, um, explaining some important considerations for asymmetric expansion of the MSE and what that means for your options for expanding the mandible. And I will reference my case uh, to make my point. So tune in for the part two of this video coming right up.
All right, everyone. Peace.